Okay, so now we're going to write some half equations. So earlier in the previous video, we looked at this reaction here. Okay, so we're going to write half equations for this reaction. Now, just to remind you, the oxidation number of the copper there is plus two. The oxidation number of the zinc is zero. On the right side, the zinc is plus two and the copper is zero. So we said that the zinc has been oxidized in this reaction and the copper has been reduced. Okay, so let's think of it in terms of electron loss and gain. Okay, if the zinc has been oxidized, it's lost electrons. Do you remember oil rig? If the copper has been reduced, it's gained electrons. So what we can do now is we can write half equations, okay? So when you write a half equation, uh, you start off with the species on the left, which in this case is zinc, okay? Now it's being oxidized, so the electrons are gonna be on the right side of the arrow. They're being lost, okay? So what you do next is you're gonna write the Zn, now remember it's two plus now, and it's in aqueous solutions, you put the AQ. Now how many electrons has it lost? Well, it's gone from zero to plus two, Okay, so that means it's lost two electrons. So you write 2E negative there. Okay, now let's have a look at the copper. The copper started with Cu2 plus in aqueous solution, AQ, and it's gained electrons. How many electrons has it gained? Well, it went from 2 plus down to 0. So it's gained two electrons. 2E negative. And then you put the copper as a solid on the right side. Okay? So if electrons are lost, which is this in this case here, they're on the right side. If they're gained, they're on the left side of this arrow here. Okay? So now what we can do, if something appears on both sides of the equation, we can cancel it out like that. And that leaves us with what we call the net ionic equation. Okay. So what do we have left? We've got Z N S plus C U two plus A Q. Now what's left on the right side of the arrow? Z N two plus aq plus c u s okay so let's look at an, another example so um, let's just recap the oxidation state so the calcium is zero because it's an element the sn2 plus the charge on the ion is two plus so the oxidation state is plus two and that's the same for the calcium and then the Sn is a solid, it's an element, so that's zero. So the calcium, it's, the oxidation state has changed from zero to plus two. So the calcium has been oxidized. And the Sn2 plus, the oxidation state has gone from plus two to zero. It's decreased, so it's been reduced. Okay, so the in terms of electrons, we have electrons lost, oxidation is lost, and if it's reduced, we have electrons gained. Okay, and remember this comes from oil rig. It's very important. Okay. So let's try and write some half equations, shall we? So for calcium, we're going to start with the solid. 
and remember it's losing electrons so the electrons need to be on the right hand side of the arrow okay and how many has it lost well it's gone from zero to plus two so it's lost two electrons and the sn2 plus okay it's been reduced so it's gained electrons now how many has it gained well it's gone from plus two to zero so it's gained two electrons okay so we end up with s n as a solid now just like the previous example we can cancel the electrons out and then we can rewrite it as the net ionic equation so we have c a s plus the Sn, 2 plus, Aq. And then on the right side, we have Ca2 plus, which is Aq plus, plus Sn as a solid. And that matches our original equation at the top, doesn't it? Okay. 